Welcome back to 10 Slide Info. In order to improve the sight for small arms, shoulder fire weapons, light machine guns, heavy machine guns and sniper, the Swedish Ministry of Defense has awarded a contract worth $50 million to Leonardo DRS. The contract is for 4,600 thermal weapon sites, which includes individual weapon site and individual weapon site long-range variants. Out of these 4,600 thermal weapon sites, the Swedish Ministry of Defense has ordered 3,100 individual thermal weapon sites, and 1,500 long-range thermal weapon sites. The individual weapon site variant, will provide the ability to acquire targets, day or night and, in smoke or fog. Not only that, it would give the operator both standalone and clip-on options. This significantly increases survivability and lethality on the battlefield. The individual weapon site was designed for small arms, shoulder fire weapons and light machine guns, while the individual weapon site long range was designed for heavy machine guns and sniper applications. These thermal weapon sites will increase protection and effectiveness of the Swedish force, and the DRS Electro-Optical Infrared Systems business, is part of the Advanced Sensing and Computing segment, which has an extensive installed base across the US military. Sensing technology is a key strategic focus for Leonardo DRS, as the company brings together its world-leading sensing and laser technologies for the US military and allied militaries around the world. Production of the weapon sites was completed in the company's Electro-Optical Infrared Systems facilities in Melbourne, Florida and Dallas, Texas. It is said that the DRS Electro-Optical Infrared Systems production team in Melbourne, Florida, delivered over 1,100 weapon sites to the Swedish Ministry of Defense within 30 days of contract receipt. So, that was a small video to provide an update on DRS Electro-Optical Infrared Systems providing more than 4,600 thermal weapon sites to the Swedish Ministry of Defense. Thanks for visiting 10 Slide Info. Please stay tuned for more defense and aviation-related updates.